Okay, now I remember that room. We don't want to go into. <coughs> Let's check out. This one was locked, right? Okay, let's listen. Not hearing anything. Oh, interesting. Oh, fun. Are we going to have a whole collection of storage uh -huh. rooms? a feeling this is not going to be as easy as it seems. A storage room with a wardrobe is what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, look at this. So many rooms to choose I no from. No, I have no idea where I'm going. Should I do this whole hallway first? Oh, that door doesn't open, that door doesn't open. No idea where I'm going. That door doesn't open, that door doesn't open. Okay, a lot of these doors don't even open. Let's go back to that first hallway. I don't want to get myself lost. Do I have a map in here? No. Of course not. I have no idea where I'm None of these want me to open them. No idea where I'm going. There's a mannequin there. And the exit is behind us. No wardrobe in this one. can quit saying that now, Erica, or Sophie. We know that. We have no idea where you're going either. Job. Once I find it, I'm going to be so lost, I won't know where it is. Okay, so this dead ends this way. Did we come down here? I have no idea where I'm going. Is that a wardrobe? A 
bloodstained war rope. I should use luminol on this, okay? What do I have to put it into a spray bottle? Combine with my spray bottle. Huh. So, okay. Then why won't you let me use the luminol? No. So... Combine? No. Combine. Combine. Mm -mm. Huh. Okay. So we just have to remember where this was. And of course I'm not going to. I have no idea where I'm going. So we just continue on down here. don't. Mm -mm. Sewing machine. And this one does not have a wardrobe in it. Okay, you can quit repeating that now. I don't know how to use the luminol. I have no idea where I'm going. We have no idea where we're going. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh uh. See, if I've already opened it, then I know I've been there. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, what is this got? Huh. Nothingness. I have no idea where I'm going. No, I don't. I don't even know where I've been. This is quite the little maze. I have no idea where I'm going. Have I been in there? I 
idea where I'm going. Yes. No wardrobe in here. The other one had a wardrobe, and I have luminol, but I don't know how to spray it, apparently. Is this where I started? I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, this is the way out. Do I need that? No. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so if we come down here, and if we come all the way down, it just dead ends, right? Did I go this way? I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going. She keeps telling us that. I think we know that now. Everything we don't need. I have no idea where I'm going. I just have a feeling this is not going to end well for our little Sophie. Well, I am doing rooms I haven't opened before. <clears throat> and this has nothing. We only found one room with a wardrobe so far. Wait a minute. Okay, this was not the one. This has got to be it. Okay, let's see if it'll let me use the luminol on this one. Use. How? Yeah, see, I'm not going to combine those two. I mean, I've got my spray bottle right here. Mm -mm. No, I'm not going to combine it with that. Well, let's examine this spray bottle. Maybe there's something I need to do with it first. Once held dangerous substances.
because I think this is probably the one. But I can't use that on it. Okay, so this was like right down here, basically. I no idea. Yeah. So this was the exits down here, down here, down here, I have no idea where I'm going. and down here, and down here. <coughs> right? This is our exit. Okay. Well, I think Is someone there? Is this one of those door things? I'm not hearing anything. Okay. This was where we found the little crane thing. And I don't think we're going to be playing with electricity in this one. I'm just not sure how to use my luminol. Do I have to go into the dark room first? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's not safe. Where was that dark room? It wasn't in here. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't in here. Where is my map? These are not the best maps. Interior flats. that sound? Do I have to go hide? Is it time to hide? There was nothing in here, right? <sighs> nothing. How I want to use my luminol. Uh oh, I didn't listen.
Was there something in here I could use? The dark room was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, there's nothing here I could use. I'm wandering around looking for the dark room that I don't remember where it is. For what? Is it safe now? We don't have the heartbeat anymore. I wish I could remember what was what. Okay, this was the bathroom, which has nothing in it to help me. Something's after me, though. And this was the bathroom. And this we couldn't get into. Mr. Farber? Hello? <coughs> oh, jeez. Now we find it. Of course, the last place we look. Okay. So here we are. A, B, C, D. Where was that paper? That's not it. That's the keys.
Which one had the instructions on mixing this? Instructions on mixtures. 200 ml of stabilizer, 1 ml of dexamethylene, 2 ml hydrogen peroxide, 50 ml distilled water as a base, and another 50 ml if the total mixture is more than half a liter. When you got it all, add the luminol. Oh, okay. So 200 of stabilizer. So how do I know which one is stable? So if this is stabilizer, of you I don't know how exact it has to be I don't know how else to make sure that that is 150 I don't know how to know which one's water. You are going to be You know what? Let me Okay, so if that hits 375, then this is 150, and it goes slow. of stabilizer no matter what and then a hundred of water whoops I hit the wrong button darn it
And now 200 of you. And only 100 of you. Oh, we got it. Yay. Oh, but I need something to carry it in. What about my spray bottle? There we go. Perfect. All ready to go. Okay, so now we got to go back to that maze area. because we're ready to spray this. up here and in here down here oh my gosh I'm scared to do this Oh, this wasn't the right spot anyway. And we know it's not through there. I do get directionally challenged. Uh oh. Why is this not looking good? pick now. that up you just have to follow the trail follow the trail it was all the way down here and then over here uh oh what is it Did not like that. Why? Well, let's give it a moment to go away. No, there's not one in this one. Is it gone? down here
don't think it was in there, was it? No, because we had to come down here. Is it this one? Yes. Oh, Time to use the loom. Yep, that's it. This is scary. The box isn't here. I've got it. I've had it all this time. How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it and send it to its owners. But Grant Amsberg, they're the ones who... My office. I'm going to... I hear them crawling. Who oh, to the office? What is this? Oh, so I don't go in there? So, wow, okay. Okay, so now I have to go to his Let's office. Let's see if Farber is in his office. Where is his office? That wouldn't be this. I'm not hearing anything now. Oh, this isn't his office. that oh for the coal tire machine so where is Barbara's office we might have to find that in the next video this has taken a long time because I'm not sure where Barbara's office is is that over and across the hallway? Is that in here? No. Is that where that question mark is?
block two, block four, to the shop. Oh, would that be where his office is? It's down in that locked room. Zoltar, we've got one more coin to use with you. What's that? One of the teeth. Oh, a collectible item. Oh, well, that's cool. We got an achievement for it. Okay, so Farber's office. <coughs> I may do some editing of this just because it's turned into a lot longer video than I expected it would. that's going to end this episode we found Farber um, not in a good way so we will be ready to move on to episode 3 there was father God don't even want to think about what must have happened in his final moments as he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next to him I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amsberg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Husha, things had improved after returning the box to Faber. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. Sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Father's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good for her then. Oh. <coughs> this doesn't seem like the ideal place to find an old lady. Do you think she still lives here? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsberg. Pardon me? Legrand Amsberg. It's hyphenated. Oh, well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems 
crazy. But when you listen to it... That's its box. Um, no. I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Lawyer. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. She seems disturbed. She grabbed the music box as if she truly needed it. The important thing is she took it. Let's get out of here. That same night. Thanks for letting me sleep here. Of course. Whatever you need. I'll even let you sleep on the couch. It's more than enough. I, I, I just need a couple of nights. That will suffice. I don't feel like staying in an empty house after everything that's gone on. You can stay as long as you want. Seriously. Thanks. At least I know you won't drink my wine. Very funny. Daniel, are you all right? That had not been a nightmare. I was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like, like those described by father in his letter shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents he was researching, delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husher, but this time, my life depended on it. Okay. Episode 3, A Twisted Trail, and we will go there in the next video. This has turned into a super long video. I'll probably do some cuts because I did a lot of wandering and stuff. But yes, Episode 3 awaits us. I hope you're enjoying. I'm enjoying it very much. And I will see you back in Song of Horror. Bye-bye.